G'day viewers, so you've got a train full of rocks and you're ready to unload. Let me take you through the really complex procedure. We're just waiting here for the uh, shunting signal to come off. There we go, points have changed, signals come off. And we can now get going. Always a little bit of a jump scare when that happens. Anyway, we'll just get this thing down towards the unloading point, and then I will take you through the unloading process. And it's uh, it's pretty difficult. I think people might actually have trouble with this one, but I'm here to help. Just say it. Don't want it to get too quick, so I'll just throttle off now. We head back into the yard here. Don't worry too much that we seem to be approaching a red signal because it's the one that we've just passed already. It's dropped back to red as it should, and the loco is on its way towards it now. Good, nice little cement plant here. We're on Great Western Express, by the way, which is the only place you can unload our aggregates for cargo line. Because you can't do it on Midland Mainline. You can only load on Midland Mainline. I'll stop before we get to the unloading facility and we will just set things up ready to go. So when the time comes, it's all good. Oh, I think we're probably approaching close enough, so let's just jump back into the cab. Just give it a bit of a light brake application. Just to stop us, because we're not going very fast. Alrighty, first thing to do is come up here on the Electromotive EMD200 display. Go into speed control, and then press... No, don't do that yet. Come down here and turn on speed control and set your speed to what you want, which is about two mile an hour will be fine. Just bump that back down just a little. There we go. Now we can click start. Ooh. Okay. Brakes off. Now, if you're doing this on a slope, you might need a, a slight brake set, but we're on level ground here. So just put it into notch one. Let the unit spool up and it will get up to about two mile an hour and it'll just sit there just hovering it'll go up a little bit down a little bit up a little bit down a little bit up a little bit down a little bit there we go it's gone up and it's starting to power off and there we go it'll just roll now so it's about the right speed let's just hop up the back and we're going to sit on the aggregate because you know that's a really smart thing to do and once we get into the unloading facility, I'll show you how difficult it is. Are you ready? Actually, you've got a pen or something to write down the instructions because it's pretty complex. Here we go. Are you ready? Step one is to do nothing that's it you do nothing and it all just comes out you'll actually discover it comes out a little bit early but that's just because of the setup on GWE that's not actually a cargo light issue now you'll notice that on the sides of the carriages there's these really complex instructions for what to do and even the handles are actually active but you don't have to do anything at all. You just let it do its thing. There we go. I'm very good at doing nothing. I have to wonder in their safety poster in the carriage why it's a uh, potato in a hard hat. It does seem strange. Anyway, while this is happening, let me just quickly race down here because one thing I didn't check when I came here to glibly show you how to do this 
was just to make sure the road was set properly behind me. So those points are fine, and these ones are set to go into the head shunt, which is also perfect. So the train will gradually make its way down here at a whopping two miles an hour. And it will sit up here and it will unload things. Mm -hmm. Juicy. Any moment now, we'll hear you. Go on. Ready for the next one? Don't forget to write the procedure down. You have to do nothing at all. Down it goes. Hmm. That's about it. The only thing you can really get wrong is to go through here too fast. Now you can come in here manually if you wish. You don't have to use slow speed mode. If you can keep it at two mile an hour, fantastic. In reality, they would use slow speed mode and the driver would just stare at the window and go, this is fun. This is an exciting part of driving trains they never really told me about. Now we'll run through the whole train because the only thing that you may actually need to know now that you know how to turn slow mode on is how to turn it off. So once we've unloaded everything, I will show you that, and we will progress from there. It's actually fantastic to have the loading and unloading happening in services, not just scenarios. Whoosh goes the HST. Pretty sure I've got a GWR train booked on my holiday, so... Uh, Maybe I'll get one of them. It's a long distance one, so I might. I'm definitely riding the Azuma. But it would be nice to ride an HST as well, given that there's not many left. We do actually have them in Australia. We call them Exploders, because they do. Oh, I need a couple of carriages to go now. You could fall asleep to that white noise, couldn't you? Next, please. Thank you. Come again. Next in line, please. Thank you. Come again. Okay, let's jump into the locomotive now, and the first thing you want to do is throttle off, and then get a nice light brake on, just to stop us before we run into that buffer at the back. Then you come up to your panel up here, and select F1 for stop, and then F4 for exit. Back down here, slow mode off. If you want to, you can set this back to zero, but you don't really need to. It doesn't really matter. But if it makes you feel happy and you have some OCD vibes, then you may well want to do that. All right, that's it for unloading aggregates. So if you've got any questions or comments, chuck them down below and I will see what I can do to help you out. Don't forget to watch the loading aggregates tutorial. There is just a little bit more to that. Not much. A little bit. Anyway, have fun folks, and see you later. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. We played a game.